Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on comparing groups. Students are given opportunities to compare two or more different groups with respect to size and the characteristics of the objects in the groups. Here's an example. Look at the following four groups. So we have group 1, group 2, group 3 and group 4. Well, we can ask such questions as which group is the largest? Which group is the smallest? Which two groups contain the same number of objects? And what is the total number of objects in groups 1 and 2? So this will teach students how to focus on groups and how to make some distinction between groups. This is just one example and I'm sure you can give them many, many others using different objects. Another example from the following Objects form five different groups so that each group has objects which are the same shape. The number of objects in some groups may or may not be the same. So here we have these, all these here, those shapes there. And it says we have to form five different groups. So groups one to five, they can number them like that. So they can put the squares, the circles, the stars, the triangles and the hearts. That's just another example of what can be done. And again, you can use any shapes you want, any objects, and the questions can be similar to this. It just helps students to distinguish and to look carefully. Some possible questions from the previous slide. Which group has the most objects? Which two groups have the least objects? Which groups have objects with straight sides? Which groups have objects with curved sides? What is the total number of objects in all five groups? Now here's a very interesting question. How many more objects do we need so that each group has five objects? This is a very good one. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how they go with that one. And here's another example. Make four separate groups by using the following objects. Each group has objects that are similar in some way. Now here are all the objects here, and when the students look very carefully, they'll see that one group has cars, another group would have trees, another group would have fruit, and another group would have animals. And then they would put all the objects or the pictures in the different groups. So this is a very, very important little topic, and it helps students to look very carefully and to make comparisons between groups to see things that are similar and that are different and that's a very important part of real the real world it's a skill that students must know